Phillies lead it five to four. I think that's gone everywhere. That is an enormous baseball park. It's me again, Willie. There he is. They hit a home run! Professional cheeky chat. Willie, you're paying attention. And MLB Europe's food critic at large. It's a difficult job, but someone's got to do it. I'm back for more big, bad baseball business. What goes up must come down. To create a menu so delicious, it's served at the MLB World Tour London Series 2024. There can only be one winner. The Donut Burger! This time, a fresh food challenge awaits. It's a really good sandwich. In Philadelphia, and New York. Welcome to America. Oh no! It's got a hole in it. The table is set. This is Home Plate London Series Menu. Baseball! Baseball is as deeply ingrained in the rich tapestry of the culture of the city of Philadelphia as the Rocky Balboa movies or the cheesesteak. I'm here at the Citizens Bank Park, home of the Phillies, to see if the food hits as hard as Bryce Harper slamming a home run clean out the park. Harper watches it fly! I must say I'm feeling particularly trendy in my Phillies jersey. First things first, a tour of the ballpark. Kevin! Hey Willie, how are you? Welcome to Citizens Bank Park. Thank you very much for having me. You're the yep. food and beverage manager. Yep. We like food, we like beverages. Yes. Manage me. That is an enormous baseball park. It most definitely is enormous. Citizens Bank Park almost certainly has one of the best atmospheres in baseball. Just look, just have a look. It seats about 45,000 people. Wow. And when it's crowded for baseball games, there's nothing like it in the country. One of the best moments ever, going back to 2008 when the Phillies won the World Series here in the ballpark. It was fantastic, I've never seen anything like it. The 0-2 pitch, swing and a miss, struck him out! The Philadelphia Phillies are 2008 World Champions of Baseball! And one of the best things about this ballpark is our food and beverage offerings for all the guests. Between um, our concession stands and our restaurants, we have all the best items in Philadelphia. We've won a lot of awards over the years, and I can't wait to show you what we have here. Welcome to Ashburn Alley, named after Richie Ashburn, one of the most famous players in Phillies history, and the Liberty Bell. Every time there's a home run or something important happens, like a win, that goes off. And one of the neatest things with the ballpark, besides all the food we have here, here's the bullpens. So you can grab a Chickie Pete's crab fry, a Campos cheesesteak, or a Manco's pizza. Just hang out here and watch the players right below you. I've got to sort out a menu back in London. Sure. What should I be thinking about in terms of what food people are getting in a ballpark? How is a fan going to consume it? Is it in a box? Is it in a carry tray? It's not just the item, it's how you're going to eat it as a fan without dropping it or spilling it, yeah, and that's the things we think about. As you can see, it's one of the best seats in the house right here. Yeah. When they say, you know, at Citizen Bank Park, you're on top of the field, you are literally on top of the field. You can't get any closer than this. Do people ever get on top of the dugout? Yes, yeah, sometimes we'll be invited to dance up on the dugout during the game. But only for a short while. Only for a short while. Kevin. Thank you very much. You are very welcome. That was a very insightful tour. You've given me some food for thought. <laughs> well we put. Wait Thank till you. tonight. This place will be full. It'll be rocking. And yeah. It's a huge game tonight. No, I'm really looking forward to it. And I'll see you in London. You'll see me in London. Nice one, mate. See you later. Thanks. Left alone to wander around the ballpark, I had the feeling that I was being followed. I had the feeling I was being watched by someone or something. Wait a second, what's that behind me? But it turns out to my shame that I, William, the ambassador from a foreign land, has been far too quick to judge. He's just a cheeky chap, like me. Look at him fly. He does all the things I do that, I do that all the time. Oh God, look at him go. God, I'm having a nice time. <laughs> That's the first time I've been kissed by a big green bird, and hopefully the last. OK, enough shenanigans. Back to the ballpark food business. Hello, Chef Vonnie. How are you? Good, Willie. How are you? 
Not too bad. I see you've put out a lovely spread. Is this all the food available at the park? This is just a small sampling of what we offer here at Citizens Bank Park. Just a small sampling? Just a small sampling. Looks like a big one to me. Okay. Talk me through. Directly in front of you is what we call a disco fry. Okay. It's a french fry topped with roast pork, broccoli rabe, roasted pepper, and a sharp provolone cheese sauce, turkey gobbler, mm. turkey, stuffing, gravy, cranberry aioli. We also have a boardwalk burger, french fries offered in, uh, on the boardwalk. Who's this? That is our burnt and cheese steak. Just have a bite of that to make sure you're telling the truth. You're going to love that. He was right, I did love it. Now these look a lot like donuts, are they donuts? They are donuts. They are federal donuts, a local partner in the city. Cotton candy, of course, four different flavors of milkshakes. What, what are the, just... Thick. That one's thick. Mm -hmm. That one's thick with two Ks. What do we got here? They look like chips, or as you call them here, fries. Chicken peach crab fry. Uh -huh. It's a seasoned fry served with a side of American cheese sauce. What's that? Tony Luke's roast pork sandwich. Roast pork sliced, served with sharp provolone cheese, broccoli rabe, a very garlicky, spicy broccoli rabe. Another Philadelphia staple. In this region, it's a direct competitor to the cheesesteak. Yeah, is that good? That's good. Yeah, it is good. That's really good. Yep. That could work. That could work. That looks like a cheesesteak. This is our Campbell's cheesesteak, another partner in the, uh, the stadium. This also looks like a cheesesteak. This is another cheesesteak. This is Uncle Charlie's cheesesteak. Uncle Charlie? Former manager of the Philadelphia Phillies. Charlie Manuel has just picked up his 1,000th career victory as a manager in the major leagues. Chicken burger. Kobe's big piece chicken sandwich. Just make sure. Definitely a chicken burger. It is. This is a hat full of nachos. Uh, PJ Willingham's Wicked Chicken Nacho. Particularly small person's hat. This is our smoked ribs, served out of Bulls Barbecue. Just give one of those a go. Seriously, you animal, just try and keep it in your mouth. Mm. I think that's gone everywhere. And Vonley, Vonley, <laughs> and Vonley finally, what's in the box? It's a Manco and Manco pizza. It's another local iconic pizza that we feature here at the ballpark. Would you share a slice with me immediately? Of course. Should we cheers? Cheers, why not? Cheers. Mmm. Not bad, right? It's not bad. Yeah, it's pretty good. There's lots to say back to the UK with me in terms of ideas. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Roy. Really appreciate it. I think there's a clear favourite, but I'm not making any rash decisions just yet. After a truly delectable menu rundown by Chef Vonnie, it was time for me to smear myself across this ballpark like a famous local cream cheese and to soak up some of the atmosphere. Oh, What a day and what a city, a vastly underrated food destination. Philadelphia has truly been an adventure, but every good innings has an end. Castellanos blasts it, deep left, and the game is untied as Castellanos hits one off the facing of the second deck. Phillies lead it five to four. Oh. What a wonderful display of incredible baseball I've just seen at the Phillies. I've enjoyed my time here. I've met some lovely people. I've eaten everything there is to eat inside a hoagie sandwich roll, and I think it's pretty obvious what's coming back to London with me in my suitcase and my ideas suitcase, i.e. my brain. But now, it's time to go and see what the Mets have to offer. I'll see you in Queens. It does feel like you're getting a real taste of Queens in every bite. Where's my slice? Because I haven't done this before. I'm not a professional. I did it. I did it. Oh, no. 